All right, here we go. For me, the banjo is just complete comfort. Just, I, can, I know what I can do with it, and I know what it'll deliver, and I know it's a great way to get a crowd energized. There's something about a banjo that's just that's pretty magical. It's Merlefest in Wilkesboro, and the stage is set for the festival debut of the Bluegrass Band Unspoken Tradition on the main stage. Amid the warmth and brightness of the musical sounds, no one can mistake the call of the banjo. But it's actually fiddle player Tim Gardner that knows a thing or two about those plunky sounds and what it takes to make a great banjo. I build heirloom quality banjos, open back banjos, and I'm also a professional bluegrass musician. Near the beauty of the Pisgah National Forest, close to Brevard, is home to Cedar Mountain Banjos, where you'll find the handcrafted legacy of banjo making passed down from father to son. My dad, Lo Gordon, he started building in the early 90s. We decided to make the move here to Western North Carolina, um, and they wanted to pursue their dream of opening a music store in downtown Brevard, and then also have a banjo business. I think having that connection to the builder is, is important to a growing number of people. And I think that when folks know that there is a small builder who's passionate about their work and who's also a musician, um, who can understand what they need in a quality instrument, um, and the fact that it's not being built by factory workers somewhere. It's being built by a musician who's passionate about it and who loves their work and, ha and knows their clients on a first name basis. In 2013, when Tim's dad retired, he took over the company and moved his workshop to nearby Mills River. I felt like it was something that just needed to be continued. You know, it's, it was such a good thing that um, I, I couldn't let it die. You know what I mean? I, I had to take it over and do it. And so I've fallen in love with it. I mean, I'm you know, gotten to be really passionate. I wasn't always a banjo guy, almost as hard as um, ebony, but it's just something that I just kind of really got into and, and I'm really into being friends and on a first name basis with my clients. First of all, it's that combination of English, Scotch-Irish, and African-American music all wound into one instrument. I mean, this is a drum with strings on it, basically. Grammy Award winner and bluegrass legendary musician David Holt has played a Cedar Mountain banjo for years and admires the handcrafted legacy and ties to Western North Carolina. First got one of the Cedar Mountain banjos from his father who started this business and uh, a, a great craftsman himself and passed that on to Tim. So I love that aspect that is coming down through the family. And so I love to see this music and the craftsmanship passed down through the family. That's the way it just gets better and better. That's really what's happened. It just gets better and better. Tim's making beautiful banjos. His dad did too, but these are some gorgeous instruments. As David Holt puts this Cedar Mountain banjo through its paces on the Merle Fest stage, Tim Gardner is happy to know his North Carolina-made banjos are bringing joy to audiences and satisfaction to each musician who plays. My favorite part of building the banjo is stringing it up and for the first time and just checking to make sure the action's right and everything, that the alignment is perfect and that it sounds really good, that it plays well, there's no buzzes or, or weird issues and just kind of doing that final tweaking to get it really right before I send it out. And then I would say probably my next favorite part is once the customer receives it and they send me the email saying, I love it, this is my perfect banjo, I, I haven't put it down since I got it. That's really rewarding. <laughs>